All right, just a quick video refuting another Calvinist proof text for limited atonement. And you're going to see, just like all the other verses they use, it's eisegesis. They insert their own theology. They come to the Bible with a preconceived notion, with a pre-commitment to their theology. And instead of letting the scriptures speak for themselves, they will insert their own theology into the text. Limited atonement, there is no scriptural support. There is no verse that explicitly or even implicitly teaches a limit to the extent of the atonement. Now, there is a limit to the application of it. Okay, I am not universalist. Universalism is indeed a heresy. Universalism is the extreme other end of the, of the whole spectrum. It's a doctrinal false dichotomy. But John chapter 15, verse 13 is one such verse they try to use to prove a limit to the atonement. And you're going to see, just like with the other verses, nowhere is anything about the extent of the atonement taught in this text or in its context. Okay, let's look at the verse. John 15, 13. And you're going to see how they are taking this out of context too, by the way. John 15, 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Now, again, where is anything about this being to the exclusion of the non-fringe or the non-elect? Where do you see that in the text? It's not in there. But you see the Calvinists, again, with their fallacy of logical inference, or sorry, uh, negative inference, they will come to the text with their pre-commitment to their theology and say, lay down his life only for his friends. That's how they would read it. That's how the Calvinist version would go. But notice verse 14. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. If ye. That's actually a conditional clause. It's free will. But also, uh, how do you become his friends? Well, you do what he commands you. Well, what's the command? What's the work of God? Okay? John chapter 6, verse 28 and 29 tells us what it is. It's that you believe on him. So this is in no way teaching a limit to the atonement. In fact, it's showing the opposite. You, you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. You know, what, what, how, do you, how do you do the commands of God? You believe on him. John 6, verse 28 down to verse 29. So, you know, read the text, okay? See, the problem is that Calvinism, they claim to be sola scriptura, but their verses they try to use, you can tell they're just parroting talking points. They're, they're being told what to believe. Nowhere does this verse teach anything. It teaches the opposite. Because, you see, what Calvinism is, is it's not based on context, it's not based on comparing scripture with scripture, it's based on cherry-picking, isolating verses from their context, and inserting your own theology. So, uh, yeah, this does not teach that Christ only died for his friends. In fact, verse 14 shows the opposite, when you compare it with John 6, verse 28, down to verse 29. So, yeah, another, another Calvinist proof text that they butcher, when in reality, not only does it not teach that, it teaches the opposite. So anyway, don't be deceived by Calvinism. It is a Gnostic heresy. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.